Pokemon, you either like it or you love it, am I right? So I have this corner here, right? And I want to make something that represents represents what you can do with 3D printing and looks really cool. I want to be able to hang it in the ceiling. And so I 3D printed the most badass Charizard that I could possibly find. As you can see, there are plenty of parts, so I am going to have to do this a bit differently. So instead of taking all the parts and put it together and then paint it, I'm gonna paint each individual part before I put it together. I'll be using acrylic paints with brushes. Before that, I'll hit it with some primer. And before that, we'll have to do some serious cleanup. So I tried covering up the joints with hot glue because there were kind of a distance between the legs and the body that I glued together. But as you can see, the hot glue and the primer didn't work very well together. So plan B. I'm here. Let's hope that works better. It's obviously quite large. I scaled it 500%, so it was quite a small model to begin with. And for that reason, I figured that it would be a bad idea to attach the wings because when I was painting, I would be flipping it over 5,000 times. So for that reason, I only attached the legs, but that was a stupid idea because if we would have painted the arm and the body and then connected the two, we would have seen a, a crack between between the two bodies and that's the whole reason I did the legs before I even painted so I'm gonna glue the two arms and the tail to the body and I'm gonna wait with the wings because they're gonna be in the way when when I turn it over oh, crap. so he is really smooth all around I'm just not too happy with the merge between the parts as you can tell I've done some uh, spackle on the sides right there right there the arms the head is multiple parts, so uh, we'll probably see lines, we're definitely gonna see lines even after the paint has been applied. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's uh, the sacrifice you have to do when you make big parts. So now it's time for the paint, and I got this orange, and we are obviously going for the original colors. This paint job is probably gonna take 20 hours-ish. Let's get started. Gosh, I'm hyped about this. It's already looking really good. Look at this. That orange suits him like a spray on tan. Oh, and it gets worse. I glued on the horns on the head. I've done two layers of orange, probably gonna end up with four layers total. I've done one layer on this wing and uh, zero layers on this wing. So look, I'm not a good painter and I'm not trying to be modest. I, I've never been a huge fan of painting until I started this channel with, with Rick and Morty. And you know, I'm doing fairly well with the cartoon colors where you have very defined lines where each color should be. So I, I'm, I'm very concerned about this flame because I'll have to mix two, possibly three colors. What I'm trying to say is if I can do this, you can definitely do it. Mm. 
really the one thing that I'm not too happy with is the connection between all the body parts. You can clearly see, especially on the on the tail, you can see a line going right across and it was very difficult. I always kid myself in saying that the, the color, the paint will cover that up, but it, it never happens. You can clearly see it's right there. Hmm, you be the judge and say if that looks bad or badass. I'm testing a couple of different colors on the wings. This one is light blue and this one is a bit darker. So which one do you think? All right, now it's just the difficult parts left, I suppose. The flame, I finished up the wings. I'm very happy with how they turned out. I don't want to reveal too much just yet. The flame and the head of Charizard, that's up next. You know, probably a year ago, I did have the Palette Plus, and I just got the Palette 2 in the mail. This is the best part. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Seriously beautiful. If you don't know what this is, it's a contraption that lets you use four colors. Most printers can only do one color, or one material for that reason. With this one, you can do four. You have four individual drivers, and it splices right here. Technically, we could almost make a Charizard completely just from this machine, not even painting it. We could have all these colors printed with this machine. Let me know in the comments below some ideas I could do with this. So what I have found is if you take some black paint and let it dry on a brush and you very gently go over the areas you think should have shadows behind it. Behind the nostrils and in the V right here. You can re-moisturize it by your breath and then just blend it in by dabbing on those haters. Jag jobbar upp ljusheten för att sedan ta ner den i kanterna så att man får en 3D-effekt. Och ja. efter... Den också. I had to call in the professional help, okay? I, I just could not figure out a way to do the flame. She managed to do a really good job with the flame. I think it looks very realistic. I'm very happy with how it turned out. She also did some work uh, inside the mouth. I cannot believe we are finally here. So I'm gonna take the wings, the flame and the tongue and glue them on the main body and that's gonna be it. So let's do big reveal. He is 500 millimeters tall, 600 millimeters long, and the wingspan on this beast is 650 millimeters. Ash would have been proud. Please, only one of us can hallucinate at a time. Big thank you to Albertini87 who have made this model and have published it completely for free on Thingiverse. He did also have a stand which I didn't bother printing as I will hang it in the corner of the ceiling. A big thank you to my longtime neighbor Ronya who helped me with the flame, the tongue and the mouth. <laughs> wow, that is looking awesome. 
Uh, yes, the time it took to make this, I would say between 15 and 20 hours. So pretty, pretty accurate to what I thought it would take. These kind of things always take longer time than you, uh, than you picture from the beginning. So 20 hours, I'm pretty happy with. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Leave a like, not for any particular reason. I just, I don't know, it cheers me up. Have an awesome day. Bye.